for this LSU student, a night of drinking games and partying with friends changed his life. And the thing was, is that mine's oral. You know, with the girl that I ended up hooking up with, I used a condom. The student, who wishes to remain anonymous, tested positive for herpes simplex 1. At first, it kind of, it was stressful. It was on the back of my mind a lot. And now it's just, it's kind of, it's just like, okay, I have a latent virus in me. According to a study by the Center for Disease Control, one in every six Americans ages 14 to 49 has herpes. And that means 21% of American women and more than 11% of American men have the disease. Student Health Center Wellness Coordinator Kathy Sachuk says men are less likely to get tested, so those numbers may be higher. Considering that 80% of people don't even know they have herpes because they're asymptomatic, they have no symptoms whatsoever, so why would they get tested? Sachuk says the key to staying herpes free is knowing the difference between common myths like you can get herpes from playing beer pong and the facts. Herpes can only spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact and through exchanges of bodily fluids. Most people that have herpes simplex 1 probably got it from somebody that loved them very much or a parent or somebody as a child who was about to break out with a fever blister. Right now there is no cure for herpes, but Sachek says there is a way to help decrease the number of outbreaks. The better you treat your body, the less likelihood of having a higher viral load. So it may stay at a very, very low level, almost to where it won't register at all. If you think you may have herpes, the Student Health Center offers a herpes test for a small fee. This LSU student says getting tested is the best decision you can make. It's like if you have cancer, you want to know that you have cancer so you can treat it. Reporting for Tiger TV, Chris Kazanza, I on LSU.